welcome the Chair of the ASEAN Social Cultural Community Council and Secretary of Social Welfare and Development of the Philippines, Honorable Dr. Judy M. Tagiwalo. Excellencies, ASEAN Secretary General, His Excellency Lilong Min, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, Mayung Aga. In behalf of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, I welcome my fellow ASCC ministers, Your Excellencies, the Senior Officials Committee of the ASCC, our SOCA leaders, the ASEAN Secretary General Lilong Min and members of the Secretariat, esteemed colleagues from the ASEAN member states, members of the Philippine Committee on ASCC and officials from the ASEAN National Organizing Council. I also wish to express our deepest appreciation to the ever gracious local government unit of Iloilo. Vice Mayor Jose Espinosa III, representing Iloilo Mayor Jet Mabilog, and Governor Arthur Depensor Iloilo. Thank you for having us here in Iloilo City, the city of love. Madamu Gid nga salamat. Hosting the ASEAN 2017 is indeed a momentous time for the Philippines as this year also marks the celebration of the 50th year anniversary of the ASEAN since its establishment last August 8, 1967. I am especially happy in having the opportunity of hosting the 17th ASEAN Sociocultural Community, the ASCC Council meeting. The meeting presents significant opportunity for the country to lead and actively advocate ASCC priorities that contribute to the realization of the ASEAN Vision 2025. The meeting also reflects the priorities of the present Philippine administration under President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, and these are investing in human capital development, including health and education systems, and matching skills and training to meet the demand of businesses and the private sector, and two, which is close to our heart as the Department of Social Welfare and Development, improving the social protection programs for our poor, vulnerable, and marginalized. As you may already know, the ASEAN 2017 theme is Partnering for Change, Engaging the World, and six priorities will be carried out. These are a people-oriented and people-centered ASEAN, peace and stability in the region, maritime security and cooperation, inclusive innovation-led growth, ASEAN's resiliency, ASEAN, a model of regionalism, a global player. Though the ASCC recognizes that our inputs may be required from other themes in the spirit of cross-sectoral and cross-pillar collaboration, the Council directly contributes to two of the six priorities. The first thematic priority is to achieve a people-oriented, people-centered ASEAN and the fifth thematic priority, which is to strengthen ASEAN's resilience in consideration of the intensity of natural and human-induced disasters that ASEAN is experiencing. The first thematic priority firmly ensures the promotion and protection of the rights of the vulnerable sectors, institutionalization of policies that will safeguard and at the same time advocate for the rights of the migrant workers, promote appreciation of our cultural heritage, and strengthening the ASEAN identity, strengthening access to healthcare and nutrition, and promoting civil service as drivers for positive change. For this first ASCC Minister's Council meeting in 2017, I am hopeful that two outcome documents will come to fruition in time for the 30th ASEAN Summit expected to be held in late April. One would be an ASEAN declaration on the role of the civil service as a catalyst for achieving the ASEAN Community Vision 2025. 
The second document is the ASEAN instrument on the protection and promotion of the rights of migrant workers. The first document highlights the role of the civil service as catalyst for achieving ASEAN Vision 2025 and building ASEAN community, presenting an opportunity for strengthening the collaboration and cooperation among sectors and advancing regional integration. On the second document, for the last 10 years, the government of the Philippines has been actively supporting the drafting and eventual approval of an ASEAN instrument that promotes and protects the rights of migrant workers and which adheres to the respect for and promotion and protection of human rights and fundamental freedoms. I am extremely hopeful that soon the discussion, the instrument on migrant workers will conclude in a more positive note. Coincidentally, today we are celebrating International Women's Day. Today is March 8, and I enjoin everyone to commemorate and celebrate women's practice and achievements made thus far through history and across nations. We fully support the continued efforts of ASEAN in working towards gender equality and the elimination of violence, abuse, and discrimination against women. We salute our women and the men who support gender equality. At this time, I wish to express my sincerest thanks and deepest appreciation to the ASC ministers for your hard work and commitment and the continued support of the ASEAN Secretariat. Okay. I believe that our common aspirations for uplifting the quality of life of our peoples and ensuring an ASEAN that is people-oriented and socially responsible will propel us to overcome whatever challenges that come our way and bring us closer to achieving an ASEAN with one vision, one identity, and one community. We may still have a long way to go. But I am optimistic that through our continuing commitment and cooperation, we will definitely get there. Again, welcome, welcome everyone to the Philippines. I now declare the 17th ASEAN Sociocultural Community Council meeting open. Mabuhay, mabuhay. Thank you, Secretary Tagiwalo.